On this episode of In An Instant, we're taking a look at the newest instant camera on the market, an homage to a classic, and one that could foundationally change our understanding of photography. Let's do it. A kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Ben, and today we have a very special episode. I never really get overwhelmed by the hype surrounding a review, but this one is so unique, I've built it up so much in my mind, and it's been kept under wraps for so long, I had to film an unboxing. Rare unboxing moment here on In An Instant. There's a certain acoustic quality to the sounds this box is making that I have not quite heard from a camera before. Wow, there it is as I live and breathe. Unbelievable. The Polaroid One-Step SX70 camera is back and um, it appears to be made with Lego bricks now. That's a first. Most cameras are made with other materials, I, I believe, though I could be wrong about that. I think the first iteration of this camera did not require assembly at all. So really interesting choice there. While building the camera, the sort of thing I've rarely done before and never under a waxing gibbous moon, I decided to listen to Polaroid founder Edwin Land's famous documentary video, The Walk, in which the genius inventor of the SX-70 takes us through the future of Polaroid and how he sees the evolution of photography. But while building, I caught a segment I totally glazed over in the past. You must understand where we are headed. We want to make a camera that is a part of you, something you take everywhere, and has to be built by the customer with 516 pieces. Somehow I'd never caught that detail, so I channeled Dr. Land and used his wisdom as a guiding light as I completed the 516 piece Lego Ideas Polaroid One-Step Camera. Edwin Herbert Land's ultimate vision. If he were here today, I'd hope he'd be proud of me and maybe even call me son. Maybe I'd call him dad. At any rate, now that we've built the camera, a striking sequel to a historic Polaroid camera, it's time to shoot and review what it can do. Okay, so now that I've got substantial experience using this thing, I can speak to its truly unique qualities and why it certainly lives up to the hype. On my very first test with the new One Step, I instantly discovered its best feature. Unlike all Polaroid cameras that came before it, this one does not take pictures or function whatsoever as a camera. The results blew me away. When we talk about clarity, image character, the quality of the lens, it surpasses anything released in Polaroid's illustrious 87 year history. Even Edwin Land, a genius by any measure, could never fully realize something like this. A camera you cannot take a bad shot with because it produces no image at all. A camera that saves you so much money on film because it does not accept traditional film, even if you push it against it with moderate force. A camera that challenges you to rethink photography as a whole. What is an image in the first place? What if the picture I'm seeing through the realistically reproduced viewfinder entirely made of Lego bricks is the real picture? Why have pictures at all when you can just see things with your eyes? The process of working with the Lego SX-70 One Step made me question everything I thought I knew about the world and my place inside it. But I came away with one conclusion. It's best to just live in the moment. And that's what this camera is all about. Let's take a closer look at some of the Lego Polaroid camera's key features. The aforementioned viewfinder is crystal clear and very little parallax correction is necessary to compose your subject and not take a picture of it. The shutter button is the red button familiar to Polaroid classics in the past, a button that begs you to press it. It's screaming at you to press it, wailing even. And it's so awesome that nothing happens photographically when you hit it. This camera even has exposure compensation, a critical tool for dialing in correct settings when a subject is backlit, needs a little less luminance, or no light at all because no exposure is possible anyway. The best part about this tool is you can't go wrong because it doesn't do anything. And then there's the film. This part is pretty crazy. Polaroid and the Lego group worked for two years on developing a completely new film stock from scratch compatible with this camera. It uniquely comes pre-exposed with three images, which never change. This technology is a chemical engineering marvel, only possible thanks to Polaroid's 15 year journey from their humble relaunch of the Impossible Project and the Lego group's 75 year journey to turn this into this. The Lego group apparently sent an additional team of 40 engineers to the Polaroid factory in Enschede, Netherlands to help complete this unprecedented project. And as you can see in the images, they did absolutely amazing. 
You've got Edwin Land, the Lego minifigure, in a replication of an iconic portrait. You've got the Lego House, which Architectural Digest called Brick Chic in 2018. And then you've got a Lego minifigure of a woman. I don't know her name, but the vagueness allows you to project anyone onto their face. It could be your favorite celebrity, your mother, or Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence if he dyed his hair brown. And that's the complete package, a lovingly reproduced classic camera that is soon to be every photographer's favorite non-functioning camera. Now, let's hit the pros and cons. Pros, this camera can't take pictures. It does not function. I love this feature. The pictures I haven't taken are substantially better than the ones I have. The plastic lens. A lot of people might have expected a glass lens on a camera this nice, but this plastic one is way better because it doesn't produce a visible image. And authenticity. Despite its drastic improvements in every regard, this camera still looks and feels like the classic one step. And as they say in the Liguria region of Northwestern Italy, that's amore. And cons. Change in perception of reality. This could be looked at as a pro, but this camera irrevocably altered my understanding of image making, what constitutes a picture at all, and how I view the world around me. This is all to say that the LEGO Polaroid camera has earned an infinite exclusive place on both my shelf, in my bag, and in my heart. Thank you to the LEGO group and Polaroid for collaborating with me on this video, and thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and build up that subscribe button brick by brick, and then give it a smoosh. Stay tuned for more reviews, breakdowns, shoots, and all things instant. Bye.